Today, students are planning to walk out of school in a massive call to end gun violence. CBS reports since the Columbine massacre to Nashville's school shooting, 175 people have died in 15 mass school shootings. Shootings at Robb Elementary in Texas, Sandy Hook in Connecticut, and Virginia Tech mourned the deaths of more than two dozen people each. So today, Students Demand Action is leading a national walkout at schools across the country. One of those happening right here locally. As Southview High School students will join Students Demand Action. That's where Christy Gurlett is live this morning with more on what's happening today. So Christy, what time will this walkout happen today? At noon. At noon, the students will uh, drop their pens, drop their books. They will gather down the hallways and walk out to the courtyard. There's expected to be about 200 students participating, probably even more. Now, I am here with the leader, the one who is gathering all of these students together, making sure today happens. We're here with Nina. She is with Students Demand Action. I wanted to ask you, when you got your fellow students to say yes to this, was it easy? Was it hard? It was fairly easy. Students are very concerned about their safety um, and not just at Southview but across the country. This is an issue that is on the minds of a lot of students, not just in high school. You're looking at middle school students, some even elementary. This is a huge issue. We want to advocate for our safety and make sure that school remains a safe place. Now, our viewers have been hearing from you all morning. We know that both of your parents are teachers. We know that this is something that you've really been pushing for um, all the way back from Parkland, Uvalde. Why, as a high school student, is gun violence something that you are advocating against? Gun violence affects all of us, not just the young people, but adults as well. But as we've seen in our community, it hasn't just been the schools. We've lost several students to community violence, and we've seen in Whitmer when there was a, a shooting on school grounds. We want to make sure that our students in this area feel safe because it could really happen anywhere. It's There's no formula or perfect storm for a school shooting, and we want to make sure that anyone in this community is not next. And how long will that moment of silence be? for the students and the staff in Nashville. We're looking at just a brief moment of silence. Although the last walkout during um, or following the Parkland shooting was 17 minutes for each of the victims, we feel our time would be better spent kind of reflecting and commemorating the lives of those lost. So we're going to give some speeches, make sure that those victims remembered as heroes. They they saved those teachers saved their students and those students, one of them pulled the fire alarm. They are heroes for what they did. So making sure that we recognize them for the part that they played in saving their classmates and just recognizing the gravity that gun violence has. Well, thank you so much for joining me all morning. I know this wasn't an easy conversation. So uh, Kaylee, Tim, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio.